Hmm. Hello, good evening, everybody. I hope you hear and see me well. It's Thursday evening here in Estonia. It's, it's 6 p.m. I hope I hope uh, everybody who wanted to come to this today's webinar is here. And um, if the webinar is uh, uploaded afterwards, then you can of course see it via YouTube as well later on. So you wouldn't miss any information. But today, of course, we we have we have some important things to cover. Last time, I believe we only had the chance to cover the, uh, the so-called news section, and we didn't get to the seven reasons why Skyway, why the technology that uh, I'm going to tell you about today is here, has made its way, how it, it's uh, made its way here into today's present time and of course we will talk about turn the seven whys the seven uh, answers so to say to seven main important questions uh, we will discover great information uh, well which of course is why we are all here so Today it's going to be about technology more overly and at the first of course I'm going to show you a little bit about what has done so far uh, from the pictures and then uh, share you some insights. Um, but alright, a little bit about myself as well. My name is Michael, I'm from Estonia and I have been uh, a Skyway presenter and investor, of course, for for about four years by now. And since uh, since the beginning, well, since I discovered Skyway, or since it was uh, introduced to me, I immediately, mm, well, got excited. Uh, I started digging into the information. I opened my back office. I looked all through all the documents. And then I saw only fantastic, uh, well, at least I saw or understood that the, that the technology itself is brilliant. It just depends now how uh, well how well the development process how, uh, goes. Um, can we get to the necessary stages? Can we get through the necessary stages or, or the steps that we have to do in, in order to uh, to implement this into the world, into the world societies, to make it profitable, so to say, because you might realize uh, that this project, this uh, new second level string transportation project, this is hugely material. Of course, there are softwares and, and IT aspects a lot into poured into this technology as well, and which are very important, and all this uh, artificial intelligence uh, uh, aspects to make it more safer, to make it more smoother, to make the ticket systems work, um, to get the calculations uh, about all the or, or all the different measurements that we need in order to well gather information from the surroundings and from the technology itself. Yes. Mm -hmm. So. We have uh, we have come uh, with these four years that I have been in Skyway. We have come uh, well a very long way because 2015. Me myself, I didn't know that back then uh, the technology. But 2015, only two years later, it was introduced to me. But 2015 it was, or there was no well materialized if we can say so, new aged at least models, as we can see them today, we had one old Russian army truck, which well, was equipped uh, or filled with a uh, with lot of wires and equipment to, to test it. So it was brought to the rails. And basically, that's the first test. It was back in uh, uh, 2004, I believe, when uh, 
Dr. Anatoly Nitsky, who is the creator of this amazing technology called Skyway. Uh, he tested it first with this uh, Russian uh, army truck. But later on, uh, back in 2015, we managed to, well, start digging the ground, so to say, on a tank, tank polygon where they placed the first tracks and demonstrated the first model, the Unibus, the Unibike and Unibus. Actually, there were two models at first, and then, then they started testing that. And today we have at the first innovation, well, at the first certification and uh, uh, demonstration center, which is located in Belarus, near uh, Minsk in Marina Korka. So in that first uh, certification demonstration center, which is called, um, which is called Ecotechno Park, in that one, we have already multiple different track structures, about seven of them. We have uh, also about seven different models already certified by Russian and Belarus standards. And well, we have done a amazing, an amazing job back there in Belarus with all these years and the work continuously goes on. I have myself also been in the Eco Denmark, and I even got the chance to try with or to step on to the unicar and be about 12 to 15 meters up high. So that's that's a great as well. It was amazing. It was back in 2019. Of course, then the coronavirus came along and all this public well, events uh, were cancelled and uh, since today there has uh, not been any, well, uh, festival sort of for investors like that one was, one was held once a year, but hopefully in the coming years it will be brought back. Of course, now that depends on the geopolitical tensions, uh, as you might know which are happening at the moment so it all depends on that so it, it it matters also in which country you live so 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 that that as well but the other great news is that we have now for uh, for some years already we have our second certification and demonstration center built or under construction, so to say, a lot of has been done already. We have first track there, but that one is located in United Arab Emirates. And to be specific, in Sarcha, so it's about half an hour drive from Dubai. So that's that's great news, and that's huge, actually, because, um, well, all the head of these different Emirates have been in our uh, certification center, sorry, innovation center, in Sarcha and I have accepted it, approved it. And we have our first model there as well, the Tropical Unicar already certified. And then the one track is also completed on which it was certified. Um, well, the model with the, with the track, of course, and the track is 400 meters long at the moment, but at the, but at the same time, the work goes on to to build three another tracks and uh, those all will be about two and a half well to be specific again 2.4 um, kilometers long and on that one we can already uh, increase the speeds because at the moment on the 400 meter track and in uh, eco Techno Park in belarus there is about one kilometer track track length so on those tracks we won't be able to accelerate to the speeds of about 150 kilometers per hour as it is promised and as it is tested uh, well inside interior testing so it is capable the models are capable of that speed it just needs uh, track length so now the track length also will appear when the when the coming tracks will be ready and will be built but let's see now the process of the track number two construction. And as you can see, all the facade and uh, and the ulterior and the construction itself has been built. Now there are only 
left the rails which will be placed and after that the the beauty work so to say on the buildings uh, will start you can see this container terminal it will be absolutely fantastic yeah so um, about this picture this one the construction is uh, this this will be a tip pole for for um, different models so basically the idea is that when we are on the track structural there is a station for example and when the traffic flow well or the flow of people the flow of passengers is uh, uh, not that high is well um, it's not the rush hour let's say then all those models which are not necessary to serve at that moment on the track structure those will be at the depot parked there they will be charged uh, maintenance if, if, ne if needed or if necessary so either way there will be a depot place and when when the uh, well the rush hour starts or begins uh, then all these um, well th there will be a need for more models to, to to be on the track and to serve people so they can get to one place to another um, fast and smoothly then all those models which were parked there and which were waiting its time so to say will come from the station or from the depot and start serving people and after the rush hour when the flow of traffic will be reduced again then the models which are not uh, which are not necessary at that moment will go and park again there it's even like this when there is nobody on the track let's say some smaller place so village or, or, or uh, smaller cities between those cities when at the night time for example or, or in the evening there there are nobody basically who wants to drive then all these models just be on standby they will stay at the spot they will be charged, maintenance, or whatever there is necessary to do with the models, but they just won't, they won't well, drive on the rails uh, with no one on it, with no one on board. So that's amazing that it, it can be on the standby mode. And when it's necessary to, well, when a person like me, I go there, nobody was there before, I will go to the station, I will choose where I want to go, then the model will start coming from the depot, picks me up and takes me to the place. So that's that's quite quite great. So it's autonomous, it has no driver. Another great uh, thing about this technology, it's all remotely controlled and uh, it is fast, I can tell you that. But now what, uh, what the container depot at the such a distance center will look like, here you can see on the picture, and what do you think now? Uh, what can we do with the track structure? Is it possible to somehow increase the potential of this uh, this model? Uh, if you compare it, for example, with cargo ships or with trains, cargo trains, or, or even with trucks, then uh, the main difference here is that in parallel, we can take uh, twice the amount of cargo at the same time because we can use both sides of the rail we can use the upper side as here on the picture and we can use the rail beneath uh, the model so the downside the hanging uh, in hanging position so to say but with container depots also what is amazing is that uh, the unloading and uh, well uh, Offloading the cargo from from the model itself from the unicant it basically takes less than one minute Then the speeds are about 120 to up to 150 kilometers per hour then both sides of the rail structure so twice as uh, Efficient so to say comparing with uh, nowadays already existing uh, transportation systems Mm, and it's full electrical and it can even use uh, this sun well we can use we can implement all this 
solar panels, wind turbines to the truck structure and to the models itself. So it's possible to charge while ongoing or at least uh, produce the electricity from the track structure itself, not from our outer source sources, especially in tropical climates where there is a lot of sun, for example. Yeah, that's why it's 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 great. It will be revolutionary, and it, it 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 has been said many times that this will be a revolutionary technology, and it will change the world totally. So, and most of the money, of course, in this sector in transportation sector actually lies within the transportation of goods or car cargo so not, not the passengers um, but the, the cargo and, or the goods yes that's it about this it will be great here you can see another another site it's also very elegant it's stylish and uh, many many big companies or corporations have these areas these stock docking areas where the ship shipyard basically is those those are tens of square kilometers or even more so it's very great for them to basically implement this technology to sort or to bring these uh, car containers um, closer to the necessary places but i have heard that even uh, well in united arab emirates they even think about building more than 100 kilometers of this track structure from, from Sasha to Korfa Khan, another city, uh, just for the, basically for the cargo. Yes, because the average speed with ships, trucks, uh, and then trains, it's usually about 20 kilometers per hour, but with, uh, with Skyway, we can take it up, uh, up five times or more and doing that cheaper. That's also great to know. And safer because the, mo uh, well, the most important thing to understand about this technology and about safety and why it's safer is that we are located up high, about 10, 50 meters from the ground. So there will be no collisions with first level infrastructure, well, vehicles, cars, tram, trams, trains, trolley buses, bikes, passengers, uh, uh, yes, pedestrians and so on. So that's why it's already much more safer. We don't have to think about the first level um, traffic jams and so on. We have our own rails, our own paths, and then uh, that makes it much more safer. And not to mention it's really amazing to look outside being up high uh, riding over the or trying over the forest for example or over the buildings and looking at the outer it's it's just fabulous and i'm glad i have experienced it once in echo Park. now the rails and number track number four has so yes as i mentioned you Three more tracks will be there in Innovation Center. Two of them should be ready in the end of this year or in the beginning or in the first half of next year. So about in, in half year, there will be two um, another tracks completed. And track number four, as you can see, the installation of the tracks or the rails already have begun. And then this is how they do it, as you can see here on the pictures. So, ladies and gentlemen, this all is a real technology. It already exists. We have already certified many models by different uh, standards. And uh, as I always have said, the Belarus Eco uh, well, basically the certification and uh, demonstration center or park is or it works as a window to Eastern countries, Russia, Belarus, Kazakhstan, and so on. And by those standards, there are many models already certified. And now in the United Arab Emirates, where we have our second, well, track structure or a second, uh, well, it's called the Innovation Center. So Demonstration Certification Center, that one will work uh, more as a window to tropical climates since uh, 
it is about uh, 50 degrees or more Celsius in the summertime in United Arab Emirates and it's uh, sometimes it's humid there are uh, sandstorms there is a lot of salt in the air because of the sea and so on so there are many many great challenges but today we know that we have conquered them if uh, temperature outside is as I mentioned before about 50 or more degrees Celsius then inside the cabin it still remains about 20 to work and then it's very fuel efficiency well electricity efficiency so to say it, it doesn't need much because of the shape of the body it's very very it's cutting the wind very well and uh, it doesn't have any screen effect so that's another thing why it's more economical it doesn't have any road beneath it directly beneath it so the wind won't well smash into the road when going beneath the car but there are rails and the wind can basically go uh, flow freely uh, underneath uh, rails so won't be any obstacles there so therefore the wind resistant level or the measures are are about 10 times less than with normal cars and that's why it's more cost efficient as well cost efficient but yeah here are the pictures so it, it, it's, it's great job that they have done there already and as you can see here also the supports they are about uh, well after about uh, each 400 meters and that one also is very important notice that it depends on the track structure and on the well necessity of the track structure if it has to hold heavy weights for example like sea containers or or the passenger well the passenger uh, transportation system which takes more than 100 people or 150 people on board so it's heavy then the supports have to be in uh, well in shorter distances from each other as you can see on the right side down there the picture on the slide at the moment um, which is um, on downside and you can see on the right side there at the picture there are uh, track number two uh, these supports and track number four supports are here uh, well the u shape basically offset i knew and then is uh, well it's actually they both use <laughs> one is more like a like a yeah like cutting edges and the other one is more oval so the oval one on the right side that one is uh, the, the supports are located in more shorter distances so it has to hold more way about it but when you think about the model behind myself at the moment they're up high and you can see here as well what's the idea to basically basically these are these buildings there behind my, myself those work as supports uh, as well as themselves and they are very high and so for the higher the track structure goes and the lighter the models are there or needed uh, needed on the track structure for example this the monorail type mono, by mono i mean that uh, only one model can drive at the same time not in parallel ways like i sh showed you before on upside and downside here is it's only on the well uh, it ha in hanging version or position then supports with that model can be even up to two kilometer distances between each other so yes the variety is very very wide for for these different type of track structures and here is again few more pictures yeah here it's perfect to see on the right side you can see how how in how short distances those uh, supports are placed and on the left side it's it's much wider and now think about it if it's kilometers wide then you won't see uh, with, a, with an eye uh, you won't see very well the, the next support so nobody can say it's it's uh, it's hurting their eye it's possible to construct it in that way as well but all right let us continue now with uh, with our next part of the presentation and for this one we, we will take a brief look into the history 
And as you can see, about uh, 100 years ago, yes, this slide, but you can see that picture on the slide was made about 100 years ago by a visionary and artist who, well, pictured our future in 100 years, as you can see on the slide. So basically, he pictured Navade. Mm, and what I like to describe with this slide is that today, well, we have a perfect level infrastructure. We have all these cars, these tramways, trolley buses, all these electrical scooters now, electrical bikes, self-driving buses here in Estonia. We have many, many more different technologies. So basically we have this perfect first level infrastructure already built. We just are redeveloping those uh, because we are making these fuel engines, fuel engine cars to um, to electrical ones and, and so on. So we're basically changing the interior, but outside it looks the same. But with Skyway, we have totally different angle now and the dimension. Because if you think about the big cities, the metropoles in developed countries, like in Rome, for example, in Paris and so on, we just cannot go there and tear down the old constructions to widen the roads, for example. Because when people and people do move, move more and more into the cities, they, they basically um, um, grow up there, they, they go to work there. So the population grows and therefore the challenges grow. Also, almost every grown up today have its own car that causes new challenges. And then uh, there is a great need at the moment for, for, for uh, innovation. In metropoles, Rome, Paris, as I mentioned before, we have also metros or, or the subways beneath the ground. So we have already the minus one level infrastructure also being built. It. So therefore, the only logical and possible way where we can go is up to the second level. And that's why Skyway is here. Human, uh, well, people have tried before and uh, have well, managed as well uh, successfully to construct or build new technologies and the, they have taken them into the, well, use as well, as you can see on the other side, the trains on the right side, right side that's monorail, it's also possible to see it in the uh, United States, for example, or in Dubai. And I will show you next picture, here it is. Maybe the monorail is one of the most similar. The tramway is uh, very similar also, but uh, if you compare tram well, with, with the Skyway, there are huge differences. Well, the speed, the driver issue or, or the driver moment there, that, that one has driver, the other one doesn't have any on board. Uh, then the, uh, well, and all, all the other aspects basically, economical, ecological and so on, there are the security aspect as well. But monorail is more similar because it's also located on the second level. It has its supports there, as you can see, but those are those are massive. These uh, supports beneath this track structure, these are really massive. And they're located, located, as you can see, also in very short distances from each other because they have to hold this massive track structure above it. And I even have brought out the one calculation here just to describe and show you something and, and um, talk as well, uh, take you thoroughly to these different aspects. So basically track length is limited with monorail, um, but with Skyward, the, well, Dr. Antonis and the team has this idea and they want to develop um, Transnet, which is basically, which consists of basically tens or hundreds of thousands of kilometers of Skyway track, which are all connected to each other. So we can go from one country to another, for example, because between cities, well, the longer distances, uh, track structures, for those, we have also a different model, which is high speed model. That one goes up to 500 kilometers per hour. So that's crazy speed. And also the interior tests have been, well, not interior, but um, well, in, in the testings in facilities. 
So in in demo climate, basically, those have been done uh, successfully as well. But we need again track structure to test it in real life in such a speeds because it needs about 20 to 25 kilometers uh, track structure to accelerate to maintain the speed and then to reduce the speed or break down basically so but where the track and when it will be actually at the moment i do not know that yet but it should uh, come also quite soon or the well at least some information about it where they're gonna and when they're gonna start building it because that one also well marks the end of the 15 stage when we have the high speed technology because uh, after 15 stage it's not possible anymore to invest directly into the company as at the moment because all the active partners and all the people who have uh, their personal Skyward community back offices and have certified themselves or sorry verified themselves uh, those people can all well invest into the company and receive very valuable mother company uh, shares so wherever in the world the commercial projects will be placed built constructed and those will start servicing and bringing uh, profits to the company those profits also will be divided between the investors depending on how much shares investors will have but yeah let's continue with the slide maximum speed is as i mentioned uh, 150 inside the city basically with this model as you can see on the on the left side it's a unibus and unicars um, unibikes those have up, up to 150 kilometers per hour but the high speed universe has mentioned more than 500 kilometers per hour. Then rolling stock have no uh, people on board. I mean, passengers, of course, they have, a, but uh, no driver there who has to control everything. It, it's remotely controlled. And now the traffic interval is the last thing I'm going to tell you about today, uh, about the technology. And it's very important also to understand, and it comprehends with the uh, information I told you at the beginning, where we had this depot. Uh, construction uh, pictures on, on the slides and basically because of that we can well in Japan for example they have the special people called pushers who will push the last people on the trains because they cannot get on board themselves there's just so many people and they won't be able to get on board so the pushers who are hired by the government will push the last people on the trains or on the subways and, uh, and then people have to wait about five, 10 minutes, then the another one comes. But with Skyway, we can, the maximum is that we can put it, uh, well, one by one, uh, we can put these models uh, to leave the station one by one after each three seconds. But of course we have to have to think about how much time people need to get on board and get the port. So that's why it's about 20 to 15 seconds. So after each 20 to 15 seconds, another model comes to the station, picks up people, goes, then the other one. So that's very fast. And therefore the traffic capacity goes up to 500 passengers per day. And it's even more than with metros or subways. But all right, I, uh, well, we have had chance to see a lot of great information today. I know you are hungry for more, but for that, you must come to our next presentation, which will take place on 10th of uh, November, the same time, 6 p.m. GMT plus two time zone. So check it out with uh, what time it is in your country. But we are going to talk uh, about the latest news, if there are any great create amazing news or new pictures of the development of these track structures. I will tell you them, of course, and show you. And then we will get to the seven reasons which you have been all waited for so long. So next time we will go directly to the seven reasons why Skyway is here to stay and we'll talk through that. So thank you everybody for coming. Um, I hope you had a lovely evening and had some information and then maybe some motivation to to take this information further to invest yourself to you or if you have invested invest even more to receive more benefits and shares 
and you can share of course this information and become an active partner for sky uh, world community and work together with us to present it to share this information to get new investors on board and be, and you can be benefited from that action as well yours well yourself as well so all the information is in your back offices so take a look at your back offices if you don't have any then uh, talk to the person who invited you to this webinar uh, and then let them help you to get your back office uh, running and get you verified and and, uh, and show you uh, insights as well there but all right my name is was michael from estonia and i'm glad to be here in front of you and tell you about this amazing technology and amazing achievements and the bright future we all will have as as investors and supporters of the technology so good evening and have i wish you all a lovely well the end of the week and see you already in two weeks goodbye <laughs>